Welcome to the very first episode of Tutorial Thursday, a little series where I will talk about little tricks for photography and videography. And thank you so much for tuning in because this week we are learning how to get these beautiful, tasty, blurry backgrounds like this instead of this. Let's bring it. Alright, let's start by looking at the things you need or that can help you make these kind of shots. Especially if you don't have money for the prime lens, there are some workarounds that you can do. Let's start with the first one. And for this experiment, we're going to be using the Sony a6000 with the kit lens. And later on, I'll show you the difference by switching to Sony's 85mm prime lens. And that should give a really nice result. First of all, if you have the zoom lens, make sure that you zoom in as much as you can, because the bigger the focal length is, the more blurry the background is going to be. Thing number two, get as close as you can to the object. So right now, this would be really far, but I'm going to get really, really close to the subject by zooming in to the maximum. And if I take the photo, then the background should be blurry. But unfortunately, that is not enough. So the thing number three, which you can do is to get a really background really far from your subject to, se to have the separation. So if I'm just going to change the position of the lens, instead of having it on the background of the building, I'm going to take a picture with nothing but the street. You can immediately see that the background gets really, really blurry and the object stands out. So that's tip number three. If you have trouble with the zoom lens, then maybe it's time to upgrade to a prime lens. And not all prime lenses are very expensive. So in this example, I'm going to show you what's the difference when having a really zoomed in prime lens and just having a prime lens. So uh, simply again, I'm going to focus on that lens, I'm just taking a couple of photos and you can see immediately how the background looks like. It is just so nice, buttery, smooth and blurry. All right. And another option for you, instead of the prime lens, you could also get a very, very fast uh, zoom lens and that would be something like f2.8 but honestly that's gonna be really really expensive so I do recommend you getting a, a prime lens even if it's a manual focus you can get something under $50 very very easily and you're gonna get really nice shots okay guys I really hope you learn a thing or two in this week's video don't forget to tune in next week because next week we're gonna take this concept a little bit further and I'm gonna be talking about how to draw the viewers attention to the subject that you're taking photos of See you all in the next video. Ata!